So, like I said, man, I don't want no problem with you, yo. And I'm really being a man of you right now, talking to you. You hear me? Because the only way I know how to react is in rage, yo. And that's from my upbringing. That's from me not having a dad in my life. See what I'm saying? So, I got a lot of pain that I deal with. You see what I'm saying? And the only way I know how to deal with it is to release it on people. And I'm learning how to change, my brother. You should be able to listen to me and hear to my voice, yo, how sincere I am when I'm talking to you right now. I'm changing my life for the kids, yo. I promise. Seven, aka Siete, aka Good News, aka Bad News, aka The Beast from the East, aka Razor, aka Please Don't Ever Disrespect Me, aka Mr. No Felonies. Leaders are not leaders. They are leading us to the abyss. I am the new leader. We are led by tyrants. We are being led by pirates. We are being led by chauvinists. And we are being led by cowards. Welcome to No Felonies. I am your gracious host, Mr. No Felonies. Before I begin, I would like to give a big shout out to my mother, Lula Lee, a.k.a. Ruth. Thanks for always being there for me. I love you. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. Please like, share, and subscribe to become a part of the No Felonies Movement. Our mission is to spread knowledge to the youth by delivering a powerful message about the importance of avoiding a felony on one's record. For any young guy or young girl out there watching, I need you to think before you act. Your life may depend on it. You only get one life. Ain't no remix on it. Make positive decisions, stay on the right path, and stay out of trouble. Go to nofelonies.com to support the movement. That's nofelonies with an S dot com. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
How's everybody doing today? We back better live than ever. I'm taking you behind the veils, pulling the curtains back. I'm here to put some paint where it ain't. I'm the realest on YouTube. Ain't nobody doing what I'm doing. It's a movement over here. It's about these kids. I'm speaking knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to all 7th through 12th graders, so listen up closely. Yeah, I know. Before I start each show, I gotta give a shout out to my haters. No, I can't forget y'all haters. Shout out to my haters, all my haters on the left. You know, shout out to all my haters on the right, man. You know, I cannot forget about you haters in the middle. You know, I gotta shout y'all out. Y'all are the motivation, man. Haters. Y'all are the motivation. I'm screaming, no felonies over here. You dig? No felonies. That's what we screaming. But check this out. Shout out to the people who love me. I love you too. Love is love. Y'all know who y'all are. I love you. Listen, man. I can lead you to the water. But I can't make you drink. I can feed you the knowledge. But I can't make you think. It's like the Titanic. If you lack and you sink. So if you get thirsty. I suggest that you drink. The phrase for each day. Your teenage years. Dictate your future. I repeat, your teenage years dictate your future. The things that you do as a teen can have a sounding impact on your adult life. I drop new videos every Wednesdays and Saturdays now. Rock with your boy. Rock with your boy. No felonies. Uh, this is a moment I dreamed of. I, I didn't think it would happen so fast, honestly. But I'm just glad that um, I'm able to be a part of this team. It's so special. Um, and it's just a testament to, to what, what can happen if you follow your dreams. So I'm just, I'm just here living proof of that. Yeah. Get up in here. Calling all 7th through 12th graders. I repeat. Calling all 7th through 12th graders. The new leader is here. The new teacher is here. I am also a healer. He's coming in five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Yes, sir, Trail Blazers and Blazerettes. He's back. Mr. No Felonies is here. Once again, we're getting straight to it, you know. But, you know, before every video, I got to give a shout out to the Most High. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for blessing me. Thank you for watching over me. Thank you for always being there for me. No, I can't wait to see you. No, I can't wait to get to you. 
You know I don't like it down here on this planet. You know I love you. And y'all better get them in your life too. Give me one second, Trailblazers. I gotta do something. One second. Second. Yeah, I'm back. Like I said, Troll Blazers, put God in your life. That's all I'm gonna tell you. You know, I'm just getting back on a 10 hour flight. Nice vacation. See what I'm saying? See what time it is right now. It's probably 2, 3 in the morning right now. I gotta get it in though. You know? I gotta get it in, Trailblazers. See if y'all can see this. Probably can't even. It's 327 now. <laughs> Only listen to felonies, man. I won't do it. But that's okay. We ain't worried about it. But it's 3.27 in the morning right now. And, uh, I gotta do this. So no more standing up and doing all that. Straight to the point so y'all can go. You know? I know how y'all attention span is. I'm still learning, but I got it, though. See what I'm saying? But I got it, though. You seen the title. Let me get right. You know, I got to trying to get right over here. How to start a business for young entrepreneurs. Embarking on the journey of starting your own business requires a blend of vision, strategy, and an unwavering determination. Manifesting your entrepreneur dreams involves a multifaceted approach that encompasses planning, execution, and adaptation. I'm going to break down the key steps to helping you navigate the challenges yet rewarding paths of starting your own business trailblazers and blazerettes. Because the way the world is... You better start your own business. You better not try to work for nobody. The jobs is crazy right now. Ain't nobody really hiring. Y'all got time. Define your passion and purpose. Begin by identifying your passion and the purpose behind starting a business. What drives you? What problems do you want to solve? Understanding your motivation will shape the foundation of your business. Market research. Conduct through market research to identify gaps, needs, and opportunities in the market. Analyze competitors, target demographic, and emerging trends. This knowledge will inform your business concept and help you to carve a niche. Using the insight gained from your self-reflection and market research to generate business ideas. Consider how your skill aligns with market demands and explore innovative solutions to address identified gaps. Business planning. Mission and vision. Clearly articulate your business's mission and vision. 
Your mission defines the purpose of your business while the vision outlines your long-term goals. SWOT, S-W-O-T, analyze, conduct a SWOT, analyze, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. That's what SWOT, S-W-O-T stands for. Analyze your strengths, weaknesses, opportunity, and threats to access internal and external factors that could impact your business. This analyzes, provides a strategic foundation for decision making. Business model. Define your business model including revenue streams, pricing, strategies, and distribution channels. Ensure your models align with your target market and address their needs effectively. Financial planning. Develop a comprehensive financial plan that includes a startup cost, op operational expenses, revenue projections, and a break-even analysis. Secure funding through savings. Can't be spending. Sometimes you got to save when you when you want to st start a business. Loans. You can go for investors or grants. Legal structure and registration. Choose a legal structure for your business. You can be a sole proprietor. I, re I recommend a sole proprietor just to start. An LLC corporation and register it accordingly. Ensure compliance with local, state, and federal regulations. Branding and marketing. Brand and identity. Create a compelling branding identity. Include a memorable logo, tagline, and a brand color. Consist of brand, consist, consistent branding fosters recognition, trust among your target audience. So trailblazers and trailblazers, come up with a name for your business. Take your time. Don't rush it. Come up with a really good name. It might take you a month. It might take you two months. You might be, you know, I don't know, in class and some idea, some name for your business might come up. You write that down. You see what I'm saying? You want to also get a logo for that brand. Because that's going to be your brand and that's how you're going to get your name out there by that name and by that logo. You know, so. Online pre presence. Establish a strong online presence through a professional website and active social media profiles. Leverage digital marketing tools and reach a wider audience. So once you get your sole proprietor or your LLC and you go to the state and you register your business you come up with a business name and then you come up with the logo now you want to get you want to have somebody do a professional website for you don't go get your cousins or somebody who just getting started doing a website you want a website that stands out that looks very professional so you're gonna have to pay for this website then you get that website you you go online you start a YouTube you start a um, Instagram you start a TikTok and put it under that business name to promote your business to get to a broader audience worldwide if you know just a, a broader audience depending on what you do you know, even if you're doing business in your own state or whatever, still, you still need that online presence. Content marketing. Develop a content marketing strategy to showcase your expertise, provide value to your audience, and build brand authority. Content can include blog posts, videos, 
podcast and social media updates, networking and partnership, building strategic partnership within your industry, attend networking events, engage with other businesses, and explore collaboration opportunities. Let me say this. You may see some business that you may want to emulate. You can emulate it, but you have to do something more than what that business offers. Okay? A lot of people may see a business and say, you know what, this is that's what I want to do right there, that business right there. You got to study that business so well to the point where you master what they do, but you also want to bring something extra to the table that's where you got to say you know what that's the business I want and that's what I want to do but I know with my smarts and skills I can add this to the business which that business doesn't offer okay yeah All right, let me just take a break here man these videos is going to be fast and quick, Trailblazers. It ain't going to be nothing long no more. I'm trying to keep it under an hour. You know, I ain't even, I'm telling you, I'm trying to get you the message so you can go. I know y'all your attention span so low that y'all ain't got time. Y'all want the message and then y'all got, got other things to do. Look, ain't nobody on YouTube talking like this to the kids, man. These is, this is for the 7th through 12th graders. But this also can be for the adults. But I'm targeting the 7th through 12th graders because Trailblazers and Blazettes, if you start right now, uh, by the time you graduate, you don't even have to go to college. And we'll talk about that later. I got another video for that as well. By that time, you may be starting your own business as soon as you get out of school. You can even probably start it before you even graduate and start getting money. Now let's continue. Execution and operation. Executing plan. Develop a detailed execution plan that outlines the step-by-step -step process of bringing your business to life. Include timeline, milestones, and key performances indicators. Team building. If applicable, build a skilled and motivated team. When you first start out, it's just going to be you, so you can build that later on. But just you starting out... You got to build it. You got to do everything. Just like Mr. No Felonies, I'm doing everything. You see what I'm saying? I don't need a team. I'm doing it by myself. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm doing. But this is me. Everybody different. I like working better alone. You see what I'm saying? That way I ain't got to rely on nobody. I rely on myself because I know I'm going to do it. And you should do it too, Trailblazers. But when you're ready, you can hire a team. Clearly, define roles and responsibility and foster a positive work culture that aligns with your business value. Technology integration. Implement technology to streamline operations. Utilize project management tools, customer relationships, um, Customer relationships, management, which is called CRM, systems, and other relevant technologies to enhance efficiency. Also, Trailblazers, um, you need to go out and get cards made for your business as well. You know, with everything on it. You know, because a lot of people ask, hey, do you have a card? And you want to give them a card. Bang, there you go. The more cards you hand out, the more calls you'll get for your business. So remember, get the cards as well. So y'all need to write all this stuff down or watch this video again and just take notes and come up with an idea, man. Put that, put the phone down. Stop watching social media and the TV, man. You gotta think of a business idea that's gonna get you some money. You see what I'm saying? Cause the social media and the TV, that ain't it ain't really teaching you nothing, man. It's just taking your your mind away from 
thinking. Adaptation and growth. Feedback. You want to collect feedback from customers, stakeholders, and team members. Use this feedback to make informed decision and iterate on your products and services. Plan for scalability by assessing potential growth areas and challenges. Ensure your business model allows for expansion while maintaining operation efficiency. Continuous learning. Stay informed about the industry that you're in, trailblazers and blazerettes. Um, the trends, the uh, technology, technology, advancement and changes in consumer behavior. Continuous learning positions your business to adapt and thrive in a dynamic environment. So trailblazers, let's say you're in your business and you're doing whatever, you have to do all the kind of research to see if it's changing. Your customers may not like this, so you may have to adapt to how the customers are, but always do your research about your business. Look at other businesses, look up other businesses, see what they're doing. Um, you can even give them a call and, and, and act like you're a customer and say, hey, um, uh, make up a question and say, hey, you know, I got this. How, how do you tackle this? Or, you know, just get insights on other businesses and use that to, for your business so you can keep going up. And you can keep going up and you can also just adapt to society because things change. Nothing ever stays the same. Things are always changing. Trailblazers and blazerettes, dreaming big for the future is the corn the cornerstone for success. I'm gonna say that again. Dreaming big for the future is the cornerstone of success. It's the catalyst that propels an individual to expire beyond their current circumstances and envision a life of accomplishment and fulfillment. This comprehensive guide explores the steps and mindsets needed to dream big and turn those dreams into reality. Goal setting. Define your values. Start by understanding your core values. What matters most to you? Align your dreams with your values to ensure they bring genuine satisfaction and fulfillment. There's a saying, if you do something that you love, it's not a job, it's not work. I'm gonna say that again, trailblazers and blazerettes. If you do something that you love and get paid for it, it's not a job because you love to do it. So think about what you love to do and see if you can make a business out of that. If not, then you're going to have to come up with something. Set specific goals. Transform your dreams into tangible goals. Break down the broader vision into smaller achievable objectives. Specify in goal setting provides a roadmap for success. Create a vision board. Like I told you, Trailblazers and Blazer Reds, you got to get a board and you got to put what you want on that board. Successful, a lot of successful people who've made it in life have a vision board. The board only, you, probably $10 for the board, $5. You can probably get the board so cheap and just pin what you want on that board. Create a vision board. Visualization is a powerful tool. Craft a vision board with images and words representing your dreams. Place it where you can see it daily to reinforce your aspirations. I'm going to read that again. Visualization is a powerful tool. Craft a vision board with images and words representing your dreams place it where you can see it daily to reinforce your aspirations cultivate a growth mindset embrace challenges 
Adopt a mindset that sees challenges as an opportunity for growth. Now let me let me speak on that, Trailblazers and Blazerettes. You're gonna have challenges when you start a business. Instead of getting upset and saying, "Man, man, I can't do it, man," you know, no, no, you have to see that as an opportunity. See it as a challenge. Don't stop from the beginning to the end. When you come up with an idea, you're gonna have bumps and roads in the middle. Don't that's that happens with any business, anybody trying to start a business. You gotta keep pushing forward. Even though you have that little bump, you'll get through it. Don't lose focus on the path of what you're trying to do. Embrace difficulties, fosters resilience and a willingness to learn from setbacks. I'm gonna say that again. Embracing difficulties when it comes to starting your own business fosters resilience and a willingness to learn from setbacks. Learning continuously. Cultivate a habit of continuous learning. Stay curious. Seek new knowledge and be open to expanding your skills. This attitude positions you for success in an ever-involving world. Shift from fear to possibility. Replace fear of failure with a belief in possibility. I'm going to say that again. Shift fear to possibility. Replace fear of failure with a belief in possibility. Understanding that setbacks are temporarily and each failure is a stepping stone toward eventual success. Take strategic risk. Calculate risk. Access risk intelligently. Understand the potential rewards and consequences of your decisions. Taking calculated risk is essential for achieving and sustaining success. Step out of your comfort zone. Growth occurs outside of comfort zone. Challenge yourself, trailblazers and blazerettes, to take on tasks that stretch your abilities and expose you to new opportunities. Learn from failure instead of fearing failure. View it as a, a valuable teacher. Analyze what went wrong. Adjust your approach and use setbacks as fuel for future success. So just because you fail one time at something, sit back, analyze it, be like, man, how did that go? Use that for motivation and say, okay, I won't do it like that. The next time, I'm going to do it this other way. Like it says, analyze what went wrong, adjust your approach, and use what went wrong as a fuel for your future success. Develop resilience and perseverance. Build resilience. You have to build resilience. Resilience is the ability to bounce back from adversity. Cultivate this trait by focusing on solutions, maintaining a positive outlook, and learning from challenges. Like I said, don't get upset because things are going to happen. Uh, you got to get over that challenge. Maintain a positive attitude and learn from the challenges that you may go through. Because everyone who has started their own business, even myself, had challenges. You see what I'm saying? Even though I had challenges, I never said to myself, oh no, I'm going to give up. Nah, I just kept on going. From A to Z. From A to Z, you keep going. Don't get frustrated. You look at that as a positive. You take that negative and turn it into a positive. And you keep going. Because if you give up, you'll be a slave to the rhythm. And you'll be working for some company at for 9 to 5. If they even have 9 to 5, they may start putting 3-day weekends at 12-hour shifts. So y'all don't even get no overtime. But that's a whole nother story. So... You don't want to be stuck at some job that you don't even like when you're so smart that you can come up with your own idea and start your own business so you can work for yourself. It's the best thing in the world. You know, drinking my water.
practice perseverance. Success rarely happens overnight. I'm going to say that again. Success rarely happens overnight, trailblazers and blazerettes. Preserve through difficulties, setbacks, and inedible challenges. A steadfast commitment to your dream is a crucial element of success. I'm going to read that again. Success rarely happens overnight. Preserve through difficulties, setbacks, and inedible challenges. A steadfast commitment to your dreams is a crucial element of of success surround yourself with support create a support system of like-minded individuals so you want to be around people who are trying to start their own business just like you you get ideas from them uh, seek mentors and surround yourself with people who encourage and inspire you you may tell your friends, hey man, I'm about to start my own business. I'm, I got an idea, I'm going to start it. And don't tell nobody your idea. That's another thing. Keep it to yourself. A lot of times you may have friends be like, man, you ain't going to make it. You ain't, man, you wasting your time. Don't listen to them. Don't be dumb, dumb in them. Because uh, when, when people see that you have an idea, they'll always try to tear your dreams and reality down. That's why you, you when you got to be so smart and don't even listen to them, man. I promise you, don't listen to them. You keep striving for what your dream is and uh, what entrepreneur you want to become. Because, let me just say this. When people have nothing going on in their life, they see somebody who's doing something and they want them to be just like them. Nothing. <laughs> Don't be them trailblazers. I promise you, don't be them. So it says, seek mentors and surround yourself with people who encourage and inspire you. A strong support network provides motivation during tough times. Strategic planning and execution. Develop a strategic plan. Outline a detailed plan to achieve your goals. Break down each goal into actionable steps Creating a roadmap for success. Prioritize and focus. Identity the most impactful task and focus your energy on them. Prioritization is the key to managing time effectively and making progress towards your dreams. Adaptability and flexibility. The path to success is rarely liner. Embrace adaptability and be flexible in your approach address your strategies based on feedback and changes that come with circumstances network and collaborate build a network connect with individuals who share similar goals and possess complementary skills a diverse network can offer support and guidance and opportunities. Collaborate. Collaboration can lead to innovative solution and expanded opportunities. Seek partnerships and collaborations that align with your goals and amplify your impact. Learning from others. Surround yourself with people who have achieved success in the areas you aspire to. I'm going to say that again. Surround yourself with people who have achieved success in the areas you aspire to. Learn from their experiences, seek advice, and incorporate value insights into your journey. Financial literacy and management. Understanding finances. Develop financial literacy to make informed decisions. Understanding budgeting, investment, and the importance of the physical responsibility and pursuing your dreams. Invest wisely. Allocate resource strategically. Invest time, effort, and money into your ventures that align with your goals and have the potential for significant return. Now I want to speak on this, Trailblazers and Blazerettes. When you first start out, you may not have a dime, right? So 
So let's say you work and you got a job. Man, you want to put a little money to the side for your business. You can still go and do whatever, but you can't be spending all the money balling, going to get this, buying that, and you got to set a little bit aside for the business. You say, you know what, this $50 or this $25 is for my business. And every time you get paid, you got to put money for the, into that business. You don't have to use all your money. Just take a little bit at a time. Your allowance, whatever. P start stacking it towards the business and don't touch it because that's for the business. Diversify streams of income. Create multiple streams of income to enhance financial stability. The diversification reduces risk and provides a foundation for sustained success. Continuously assess and adjust. Regularly assess goals. Periodically evaluate your progress towards your goal. Celebrate achievements. Identify areas for improvement and adjust your strategies accordingly. Establish a feedback loop with mentors, peers, and yourself. Solicit constructive feedback and use it to refine your approach and enhance your skills. So you want to ask people, you know, how do you think, what do you think about this business? Or how's my business running? And, you know, what would, what would you do different if you were me? So you take all the feedback, man, and sit back and analyze it. And that should give you a better look on what you may need to do or switch in your business to make it grow. Adapting to evolving your dreams. As you grow, your dreams may evolve. Be open to reassessing and adjusting your goals to align with changing aspirations and circumstances. Dreaming big for the future trailblazers and blazerettes and achieving success is a dynamic and personal journey. It requires a combination of mindset, strategic planning, resilience, and continuous learning. By following this comprehensive guide, you can embark on a path that not only allows you to dream big, but also transform those dreams into reality of meaningful accomplishments and fulfillment manifesting and starting your own business is a journey that demands dedication resilience and a strategic mindset by following this by following this meaning me because I'm trying to give you this guide you can go back and watch this a hundred times trailblazers you can navigate the complexities of entrepreneurship, turning your vision into a thriving reality. Remember, trailblazers and blazerettes, the entrepreneurial path is a unique path for each individual. And embracing the learning process is the key to long-term success. Ain't nobody on YouTube trying to teach you like this 7th through 12th graders, blazerettes, blazer, trailblazers and blazerettes. Only Mr. No Felonies, man. I am the new leader. I am the new teacher. And I also am a healer. See what I'm saying? I'm trying to give you this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding about starting your own business. Because Mr. No Felonies, you know, I have my own business. And I wouldn't change it for the world. You see what I'm saying? Because I can open and close whenever I want. I never like listening to people, especially no boss or no manager. I knew I wouldn't last. I knew it. I was like, man, I got to start my own business because I can't even deal with Johnny over here trying to tell me this, that, this, that. You see what I'm saying? And like I said, I had failures when I first started. You know, nothing came easy. You got to just keep grinding. So you can work for a company, but always have in the back of your minds work towards your goal. See what I'm saying? So you can work, stack, save your money, but your end goal is to start your own business. And then once you got everything started, the best feeling in the world is when I told uh, the guy, hey, listen, 
I'm putting my two weeks notice in. He like, what? I said, yeah, man, I'm putting my two weeks notice in. He said, why? What happened? You got another job? I said, nah, I'm starting my own business. He said, what? I said, yeah, man, I'm starting my own business. So I'm I, here's my two weeks notice. Another thing, you got to be fearless. You can't be afraid. See, a lot of people, they're afraid. That's why they work for the man, nine to five, slaving. See what I'm saying? You can't be afraid. When you start your own business, Trailblazers and Blazerettes, you have to be fearless. I'm going to say that again. You have to be fearless. You can't have one scared bone in your body because if not, you ain't going to make it. And what's going to happen is your your business idea that you have is just going to sit there. And what you're going to do, you're going to be working for this company. Now you five, ten years working for the company. You see what I'm saying? Because you done gave up on your business dreams and aspirations because you scared like you, you just a scared duck. Don't be a scared duck. You better hit it hard, trailblazers and blazerettes. See what I'm saying? All I'm trying to do, man, one kid at a time, start a business. But I know a lot of y'all going to start it because y'all listening. All 7th through 12th graders, you know Mr. No Felony's got you. It may take some time, but, but just stay focused. You see what I'm saying? Signing out. <laughs> Your teenage years dictate your future. The things that you do as a teenager can have an astounding impact on your adult life. You only get one life. Ain't no remix on it. Make positive decisions. Make start smart choices. And stay out of trouble. Saving one kid at a time. I drop new videos every Wednesdays and Saturdays. Follow us on all social media platforms. NoFelonies.com Follow us on Instagram. NoFelonies the number one. Follow us on TikTok. At NoFelonies. As the curtain draws to a close on this week's, tri this week's episode, Trailblazers, we've only scratched the surface of thrilling journeys ahead. Join us next week. As, as we delve deeper into the realms of knowledge, where hidden revelations, unexpected twists, and life-altering insights awaits. Brace yourself for the next episode that promises to redefine the narratives and leave you on the edge of your seat, hungry for the revelation that will reshape everything you thought you knew. Don't miss out on next week's episode. The plot thickens, and the adventure continues. Screaming, no felonies. <sighs> Screaming, no felonies. The realest, I love this feeling. I love this feeling. Every day we do whatever we want. Can't front. Yo, I love this feeling. I love this feeling. Getting dressed, getting fly just to go to the studio. Hey yo, I love this feeling. Hey yo, tomorrow I'm juicy. I'm juicy for the rest of the week. Just cause I love this feeling. And Big Bro got his ankle bracelet to go today, yo. We're getting on the private jet. I love this feeling. <laughs> Three years to go from here to the absolute upper echelon of masculine performance, one of the most well-known, respected people on the planet. You've got the same three years, the exact same number of hours, and what have you done with them? What have you even achieved? You might be in the same job, in the same house, with the same girl, driving the same car. You've done nothing. That should upset you. You should feel sad about that. Because it's only when you feel sad about what you've done that you're going to feel enough regret to go through the pain it takes to be massively successful. Imagine where I'm going to be in three years from now. Think in three years from now where I'm going.
going to be. We have the same number of hours in the next three years, you and I. And I'm going to crush you. And it just makes me sit and wonder, if I was you, I wouldn't be able to accept that. I wouldn't be able to take it. It would bother me in my core. I see why he's the people's champ. All over, anywhere we went, it was real love. Like, they wanted to know him, they wanted to touch him, they wanted to meet him, they wanted to take a picture with him. Well, you already know. Happy birthday, brother. Yeah, yeah, you inspired through the music, through the fashion, but then when you see him and the way he embraces you and you get the love and you like, wow, that helps. That adds on to everything. Because some people and artists can be kind of standoff. You know, they do what they do. But then when it's time to embrace the people and be in the community with the people, the less fortunate ones, they kind of rub them off. But Nip was in tune to that. That's what made him the people's champ. Man, you know, I be juggling. You know what I'm saying? I juggle a lot. I play a lot of positions. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So my mentality when I when I do start to be like, damn, this is a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, you know, it's, that's what it's supposed to feel like. If, if you are going toward what the vision look like, and that's like greatness. That's I just think about that. Like, this shit ain't supposed to feel comfortable. It's supposed to be uncomfortable. It's supposed to stretch you. It's supposed to be a burden to a degree. And you got to, you know, wrap your mind around that and accept it and embrace it. And you catch the wisdom off of that. But your light outshines these people gossip and slander. Okay, God don't play about you, boo boo. Whoever you are, straight up. All right, you a star seed. You're not even from this motherfucking planet. All right? All right, you just here to uh, fulfill a destiny or purpose. And you getting the fuck on and you going back home. Period. That's what I'm getting. I know you don't understand how I'm running my YouTube, mom. But I got to scare these kids i gotta scare them straight so i gotta show them the cuts i gotta show them if you get in trouble that's what's gonna happen when you go to prison and those little cuts that you see on the faces that ain't nothing compared to not making it home being dead because they trying to stab people up with a lot of big things they trying to poke people so my thing is get letting these kids know i gotta show them the i gotta show them it graphic i can't be Holding their hand, I really got to show them, put their hand to the fire so they'll know not to do it.